Hey Scott, Bounty Hunter Boot Camp. Welcome to the Wednesday vlog. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If uh, you're repeat and you watch these all the time, welcome back. Um, and if you're new, like I said, welcome. Make sure you check out our merch now. We've got some merch. We're trying to create merch every um, every month. We're trying to create a new t-shirt based off of some goofy shit that happened in a... Um, in a video. Anyway, so yeah, check us out. You know, check us out on uh, Instagram, Bounty Hunter Boot Camp, and all the social media. We are everywhere. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about handcuffs. Handcuffs. So, um, if you're in this field or you're wanting to get into this field, um, you've got to have a good set of handcuffs. And I talk about the basic four all the time. You've got to have a good set of handcuffs. NIJ, the National Institute of Justice, certifies handcuffs to a certain level. Um, they're all law enforcement uses. They're all corrections uses. It's the NIJ um, certification. Do not buy handcuffs that aren't NIJ certified. Do not buy. Listen to me. Do not buy handcuffs that are non-certified by the NIJ. You are asking for trouble. So what, they're cheap on Amazon, but they're made in Taiwan. If they're not NIJ certified, they're not worth it. We use the ASP handcuffs. And if you see, I've got white paint um, on my keyholes. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But we use ASP handcuffs. I prefer the hinged. I have a set of hinged and I have a set of chain on me at all time. Um, hopefully to cover almost everything. Used to carry uh, zip ties, don't carry zip ties anymore. Uh, we carry the uh, ASP rated um, uh, rest flexible restraint. Um, Safari Land makes really good ones. But you've got to stick with brand names with handcuffs. You've got to stick with Safari Land, Smith & Wesson, um, ASP, uh, Hyatt, one of the oldest manufacturers of handcuffs in the world. Um, so I think Safari Land bought them. Um, I'm not up on every brand of uh, handcuffs. But name brand, Peerless. My very first set of handcuffs in the 80s when I was with the sheriff's office, they were peerlesses. I had them up until about four years ago and then they either walked out of a class or they just got lost. I've gone through so many handcuffs. My handcuffs disappear like nobody's business. I have a book um, with two pages of uh, all the handcuffs, all the serial numbers and all that stuff. And stuff comes and goes. In uh, you know, I'm buying new, you know, you figure I, I, I run the school in, in everything that I would have you know enough handcuffs but I'm always buying handcuffs when handcuff technology or like when ASP comes out with when ASP comes out with a new uh, set of handcuffs I'll buy them and I'll try them out I don't get any of this stuff we're not sponsored for handcuffs but when I get back to the painted so with the black um, handcuffs it's hard to see the keyhole oh look it's hard to see the keyhole at night um, or in dim light situations so what I did is I took uh, I took white paint and I painted the keyhole, so when I'm looking down, uh, I can see the keyhole a lot easier, and it just makes it easier. We tried glow-in-the-dark paint, but that chipped off, but it is a good idea as well, because then, you know, but they sit in your dark pouch, and they don't come out until, um, they don't come out until they need it, and then how much light do they get? So it was one of those things to where they didn't glow enough. Maybe you do some trinium, you know. Hey, manufacturer, if you're watching, you know, trinium keyhole, just like the night sights on my gun, I look down and boom, there's the keyhole. That's a great idea. Might raise the price of the handcuffs up a little bit, but I would pay for them. I mean, shit, my handcuffs now are 75 bucks. So, um, and these aren't them. These are these are my spares. And, uh, you know, ASP, you know, they got keyholes on both sides, which is really, really nice, especially when you're doing corrections. Um, when you take them to the jail, you know, you tell the officer, hey, keyholes on both sides, they'll go, oh, I can put my handcuffs on any way I want. Because what you don't want are the two keyholes together. When you get the two keyholes together, uh, they're not going to cut their handcuffs off. They're going to cut your handcuffs off. So just something to keep in mind. Always double lock your handcuffs when in a safe place to do so. Always remember crest, control, restrain, evaluate, search, transport. Do not deviate from that order. Do not search somebody. Do not transport somebody you have not searched and that you have not restrained. And we'll talk about that in another vlog. But never, never let anybody ride uh, unrestrained in your vehicle. Ever, ever, ever. Anyway. Um, I've gone over the four minutes. Make sure you check out the merchandise. Buy a t-shirt. It goes and it helps support us uh, to create more videos So if, and, and, and rock the merchandise. Um, uh, we've sold some t-shirts, uh, which has been pretty cool. And, they, and they'll 
take a picture in her t-shirt, tag us, and then we'll put it on the Insta Gym. So anyway, thank you so much for checking us out. See you. Uh, new videos every Monday. And uh, take it easy, man. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your all support.